Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a website giveaway on your WordPress website. So I've done a few of these giveaways on my website before, and there can be numerous benefits from doing them. So they can help you grow your email list, your social media following, and even help you drive traffic to your website. So within this example, I'm going to be using King Sumo to run this giveaway. You can actually get lifetime access to it through the link below, wpwithtom.com slash kingsumo. And if it's your first time on the site, you actually can get 10% off the purchase. So let's dive into what King Sumo looks like right now. So that link should take you to this link that says the King of Giveaways, King Sumo. And you can actually watch a video by AppSumo about it and read more information about King Sumo if you're interested and in how you can actually grow a mailing list or social media following by doing it. So they recommend that you link it to Sandfox and Sandfox is another one of their products, but they actually do have a free version. So once you log into a free account for Sandfox, you can actually go and start creating a list. Now, if you want to be able to access more people and mail more people, you can actually go over here and this is wpwithtom.com slash sendfox. It will take you right to this page right here. And on this page, you can learn more about how SendFox works. But most importantly, you can go down here and you can actually get the ability to have more subscribers. Now, email subscriptions are an expensive thing. And in reality, SendFox is good for smaller companies or basically like solopreneurs or people just starting out that aren't going to have a huge mailing list. But if you need more, you can easily add them as you go here by adding more tiers. So you can get started for free or get a 5,000 subscribers if you have a smaller amount and you're just starting out. It's definitely worth having when you compare the monthly recurring costs associated with almost every other mailing list system. So I'm going to go over to SendFox. I actually already logged in. And here I'm just going to do a test list. And this is where the emails would be collected when you link King Sumo to it. So within King Sumo, you're actually going to need to log in your account after you sign up for it. And within here, when it's your first time logging in, unfortunately, it's not for me, you're going to be prompted to create a link between the mailing list that you have and King Sumo. So in this case, I already linked it between SendFox. And here I'm going to go and create a list that the emails will go to within SendFox. So I'm going to name this one Brizzy Test. And I actually did a giveaway for the Brizzy Builder before. It's an awesome builder. I highly recommend checking it out. And here I'll just go and click create list. And now I have Brizzy test right here. I'm going to blur out these other ones down here because they are from previous giveaways. And then you'll actually be able to see how many people subscribe, unsubscribe, how many people open messages that you send from that list, the clicks and the bounce percentage. So over here, we're going to go back over to King Sumo. And once you activate your account, you can log in and click new giveaway to get started. So within this area, you're actually going to need to fill it out for your giveaway. I actually already did that. I'm going to X out of this and go over to this area where I already actually filled it out. And here, I'll just go through the different sections and what you might want to include here. So this would be for a Brizzy Pro personal plan giveaway. And that's a mouthful to say, but if we go back over here, you can see that this was the plan that I gave away, this personal plan. So when we go back over here to Brizzy, we actually gave away three of those personal plans and they're valid for one year. And the plan includes 250 plus premium designs and one year of support. That's what I put in the description. You can bold things, italicize, underline, link. You can change the font. You can do whatever you want here. But I just basically took that information off of the plan description right here. And then if I go back over into this area, we can see that we can set when the actual giveaway entries can start rolling in. So you can choose a start point and date and time right here, and you can choose an end time and date as well. You can also select the number of winners. I did three winners for this contest, and I put that it would be awarded at a day after when it actually is supposed to end. So you can change all this in here and set it up to be custom. In general, I like to give myself a couple days before I actually announce the winner and award it. So that gives me time to basically have a little buffer and to plan things out. And if I'm working with some company like Brizzy in this example, I'd want to contact them and get on the same page and say, hey, I'm going to announce the winners for this giveaway. Can you get ready on your end or whatever needs to be done? 
Sometimes that can be a little bit of work depending on what you're doing and what you're arranging. So I would give yourself at least a day or two buffer here for when it's going to be awarded. Here's your time zone and you can change that as needed. And this says who is running this giveaway. So this is WP with Tom, which is my site. And then the URL would be wpwithtom.com slash giveaway. And right here, you can go and choose what the prize name is. So I just did Brizzy Pro Personal Plan, which is what this one is. And then the value of $49. Again, that's what this is, $49 for a year. And here we can add an image for our prize image. So it says you want it to be 680 pixels in width and it to be a two by one ratio. So basically 680 by 340 should work pretty well. In this case, I tend to make my images on Get Stencil and I'll have a link below to that. It's a free tool and there are paid options as well. And that will be wpwithtom.com slash stencil. And once you navigate over there, you can actually go and see that they have free plans, pro and unlimited. I'm actually on the unlimited plan myself, but you can use these to create an image and make it that exact size that you need for the 680 by 340 right here. So once you create an image, you're gonna to wanna to add it. I actually already created one. So let me just hit the plus icon and Brizzy giveaway image right there. And there it is. I loaded it up right from Stencil right there. And if we go down, here are the sharing options. So here we can click and select the platforms that we want our contestants to be able to use to share our giveaway. So you wanna use it on things maybe like Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, email, you want to be able to have people share it easily. Depending on what you're giving away, you might want to use different platforms because there's going to be different audiences on each of these platforms. So if we go down here, we can do bonus entries. So these are actions a contestant can take to get even more entries into the contest. And this is where the social media side of things come into play. So click here every day to get more entries and it will give them two entries or whatever number you set more entries into the contest here. So if we go down to add entry action, let's just go through this and let's say I want people to have to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more entries. I can choose YouTube subscribe. It will say subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I would paste in the YouTube URL here and then I would give them more entries. So if you really want to focus on a certain action, let's go X out of this and go to you want to grow your Facebook likes. You can go and put like us on Facebook, your Facebook page and you can award them like 15 points or something like that or 15 entries i should say into the contest if they do that action so a lot more people are going to end up liking your page that way so this gets people to go to your website share it on social media and also join your email list all in one place by doing this giveaway here so it has a lot of power now, as I said earlier, you would have to link it to SendFox in the example I'm using here, and then you can select the giveaway from this. So I did Brizzy Test, and that is the one within SendFox where these emails will go to on that list. Down here, we have the EU GDRP consent checkbox, and I'm going to require GDRP consent just to cover my butt here. So, and I'm just going to go and click Save from here. And now it says Congratulations, and then it's basically online. So if we want to, we can go and choose to promote it on our own right here by using these different things. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go and put embed the giveaway widget on your website. And then I'm gonna just click on that and it's going to give me this embed code right here. I'm just gonna click copy. I'm gonna leave this open if I have to go back to it, but this gives you a preview of what it would look like on your site. And then I can just go back to WordPress in the dashboard. I'm just gonna create a mock page here. So I'm just gonna to go to add new for a new page. And then once this loads, I will then put in a new title for it. I'm just going to name it Giveaway. And here, I'll just publish the page. So I'm using Elementor. I'm going to go into Elementor and do it that way. So it's updating right now. And now we can go over and click Edit with Elementor. And it's going to load Elementor here. And then we can get started. So if we just click on this plus, click on here. And then we'll go and click on the plus again over here. And what we can do is go to text editor and just drag it in and drop it. And here I'm going to go to where it says text and I'll just paste this in. And then I will just go and click update. So from here, if we go and click preview changes, we're going to be able to see what it looks like right here on the live website. So it says Brizzy giveaway, Brizzy pro personal plan giveaway. And then people can go and enter the contest within this area. 
Now, normally you would see that there's an entry for an email and an enter or something like that. It just says this giveaway hasn't started yet because of the time that I set it up on here. But that basically wraps up the process of showing you how to set up a website giveaway contest on your website. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.